Colossians 4, 2 through 4 says, Devote yourselves to prayer, keeping alert in with an attitude of thanksgiving, praying the same time for all of us as well, that God will open up to us a door for the word, so that we may speak forth the mystery of Christ, for which I have also been imprisoned, that I may make it clear in the way that I ought to speak. Well, if you're joining us in reading through this 90-day reading plan, today's reading is Colossians 4, and I encourage you to read that passage. What does it mean when Paul writes, devote yourself to prayer? Does that mean, or does he mean, that our concentration should be centered on Christ and our requests be in line with what God wants? Our prayer life should be consistent. It should never stop. Does he mean that when we pray, our prayer is to whatever God has told us to do? Well, I think the answer is found in both rather than one or the other. Our lives should constantly reflect an attitude of prayer. We should never stop reaching out to God. And Paul tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5.17, our focus should always be on Christ. And the way that that is done is by placing a Jesus prayer always on our mind. That prayer goes like this, Lord Jesus, Son of God, forgive me, I'm a sinner. Or it may be modified to something like this, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. I know that um, in our Protestant world, we tend to want to have a spontaneous and free thought prayer. And while it is true that that needs to be in our life, we also need structure. We also need something to focus our minds on and our heart on in Christ. As long as it's not something mindless and repetitive, kind of like saying a mantra, blah, 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 we can also be not only instructive, but communicate our desire for repentance and God's leading. Read the Psalms. They're full of repetitious thought. Read the Lord's Prayer. If you take the Lord on face value, that brings us a very structured way to pray and a very focused way to address God and to focus on His provisions and His desires. No matter what way you choose to communicate with God, the focus should always be on His majesty and on our desire to serve Him. 